x squared plus y squared equals z squared. What kind of shape does this describe? Let's draw our three-dimensional axes and find out. The x-axis is in red, the y-axis is in green, and the z-axis is in blue. What does it mean to satisfy this equation? Well, a point satisfies that equation if the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. The left-hand side is a squared distance from x, y, 0 to the origin. In other words, for this point here, the left-hand side is the squared distance from the shadow of that point in the xy plane to the origin. On the other hand, the right-hand side is also a squared distance. It is the squared distance from that point to the xy plane because, because it's just the z-coordinate squared. So, if these two things are, need to be equal, it means that this distance needs to equal this distance. In other words, for this point to satisfy that equation, it, it actually needs to be here. So what are all the points that satisfy that equation? Well, one thing we can say is that what are all the points for which this distance in the xy plane is equal? That would be x squared plus y squared equal to a constant. That describes a whole circle of points. So we can say that all of the points on this circle satisfy that equation. If we were to move the z-coordinate down a little bit, we would have to move closer to the origin by the same amount. And so we also get this circle of points. And in a similar way, we get more and more of these circles belonging to this equation as we come closer to the origin. So what kind of shape is that? It is a cone. And that's why x squared plus y squared equals z squared is the equation for a cone.